r slash ask reddit question he gained control of jk rowling's twitter account for a day what unnecessary piece of information do you add to harry potter law porter puppet pals is now canon Hashtag ITSAPIPEBOMB edit my first silver. You have my gratitude, kind stranger. Honestly, I'm in for this. Snape, Snape, Severus Snape. But Beak is an animagus who is fully intelligent and capable of turning back into a human at any time. But doesn't because it's his fetish. I love this because he was so committed he let himself be executed in the original timeline. That was his other fetish. Harry's favorite finger, for no particular reason, is his left index finger. Also, inexplicably, that's Guinea's as well. And strangely enough, Guinea's left index finger is Harry's favorite. All Hogwarts students are required to take a sex ed course, the teacher Hagrid. Okay now some needs to do a fanfic where Hagrid teaches sex ed I don't mean an NC-17 thing either I mean a legitimate humorous story. Someone on Reddit wrote a little FIC where Snape gave a sexed course. It was freaking gold. Yave got terror stroke him, said Hagrid. As though this was the most obvious thing in the world. An actual Hagrid quote taken out of context. Harry wakes up in Hogwarts and everyone is gone for Christmas vacation when he has to defend the school from being robbed by Joe Pesky and Daniel Stern. Edit. Silver Dam. Thanks y'all. D. Make the fan theory that the surviving Weasley twin becomes the John Wilder Willy Wonka later in life. And that leads to the whole, Willy Wonka is a prequel to Snowpiercer theory. The composition of the wand means nothing. A wizard could use a plastic drinking straw and it would work just fine. As long as they expect it to work. What happens when plastic straws are banned? Magic dies from the world. Snape was a stamp collector. This is the real reason James Potter bullied him. It was really him and not the Weasleys who wrote and mailed the letter inviting him to the Quidditch. World Cup. All those stamps on the envelope were his way getting back at James. Ron grew up to become Ed Sheeran. The sorting hat was percent 100 unnecessary for class distribution. Its primary purpose was to get rid of head lies. I've got a secret affliction, Harry. In years where the hat is in an especially bad mood, it will reverse the effect, giving all of the new students head lice requiring a massive week's undertaking with Ministry of Magic assistance to clean the entire castle. Completely unnecessary. Antash X2OB. For a brief time in 1956 teenage visits used to Bavich vacuum cleaner to use in lieu of broomsticks. That is 1000 times better than most of the shit we've gotten. Most of the shit we've gotten has been on the floor. Ron likes to take all his clothes off when he poops. Oddly enough I have a friend who's been compared to Ron many times who also does this. Not gonna lie, I do too when given the chance. Naked poopers, unite. When you're using the invisible cloak you're not actually invisibly or naked they just choose. To ignore you as to not make things awkward. That explains why Fudge and Malfoy send Hagrid straight to Azkaban without a trial in Book 2 when they walk into Hagrid's hut while Harry and Ron are hiding. Alright, so we are just going to give him a warn why are there two naked kids huddled in a corner? The frick Hagrid, Azkaban it is. That also explains that Dumbledore looked at Harry under the cloak. And Harry could feel his blue eyes pierce him as if he saw him. All of the really bad shit information Nagini being a cursed Korean lady. The vanishing shits. The whole cursed child play all of that was just a quibbler article. Oh Zeno love good. You and daring fruitcake. Nagini being a cursed Korean lady oh oh. Watch the newest Fantastic Beasts movie. Dudley Disley has a muggle born daughter. She gets her Hogwarts litter and Dudley reconnects with Harry so he can learn about magic and be the opposite of his parents. T. 
teenage visits would jack off in front of the hottest moving paintings. I'm just now realizing the potential market for porn magazines at Hogwarts. The Forbidden Forest was probably littered with used moving porn mags. Golden Snatch Puddle Mirror United Sorority Sisters Yearbook Goblin Mixed Up Muggles Elf on a Shelf Hogwarts in the 60s was a drug-fueled technical and dancing orgy every night and the only reason it doesn't come up more often is because not a lot of people clearly remember it. That must be when Dumbledore made the switch from sharp-looking suits to colorful flowy robes. Oh I love this. Just imagine Dumbledore on a rave. Harry was born with a third testicle. Fred came back as a ghost. But only ever shows up to mess with George when no one else is around as part of an ongoing prank. On his early brother. Harry put his name in the goblet of fire. And the portion of Voldemort's soul in him allowed him to do so because it was old enough. How do you know did you ask him calmly? So an old guy was inside a minor for a long time. God, I regret writing this. Harry and Ron used some of Hermione's hair plus Polyjuice potion to kill some time in the dormitories. That was great, Ron. I promise I'll be Hermione next time. You always say that. Time to close Reddit. That's when Harry suddenly developed his taste for redheads. The reason Dumbledore didn't bring back Harry's parents with the Time Turner is because Dumbledore always wanted a son of his own, but then changed his mind a few years later and dumped him with the Dursleys. There's a solid book that could be written about Dumbledore's attempts to defeat Voldemort through time travel. In the end, he had to choose to sacrifice his own life to make sure it happened. Voldemort's penises also have snake slit noses. Fun fact, most snakes have two penises. And most snakes' penises are double-headed. And most of those are spiked. Fun fact, most snakes have two penises. And most snakes' penises are double-headed. And most of those are spiked. Thank you for subscribing to Snake Penis Facts. Hagrid tried for and did and he really care for it. This is so delightfully pointless. I love it. And then says, I should not have said that. Oh wait, her name was Cho. I had the wrong image in my head. That most people don't play beyond their early 20s because they develop Quidditch Castle. Every so often a player has to retire because a snitch goes somewhere where you don't usually want. A vibrating golden orb. And frankly there's no returning from that ignominy. All that broomin', it's got a chafe, affectionately known as crumb bum. Nobody gives a frick about Harry after he graduates, and he ends up spending the rest of his life bitter and working as a barista at visit Starbucks in Hogsmeade. There's a witch writer called KJ Loading famous for her muggle book series Harold Rogers where the protagonist engages in wacky muggle adventures. Edit. 48 inbox notices and not one Hogwarts letter. With sidekicks Roberta Beasley and Herman Danger. Isn't it in the books that there actually is a book series about a muggle called Michael the Mad? Muggle, or something stupid like that. I'm sure I recall this. Battling to defeat the evil Vlad Demort, who shot him with a 9mm as a baby, but his mom put a vest on him. Fred and George Weasley switched places during the Battle of Hogwarts. When George died, Fred adopted George's life complete with cutting off his ear because he figured George wouldn't want him to spoil the joke. Makes sense as to why George ended up marrying Angelina Johnson when it was Fred who dated her at Hogwarts. You monster why would you make everyone cry like that? There's actual lore that George could no longer cast a Patronus after Fred died. As an identical twin myself. That hit home. At the time of bringing his kids to platform 934 at the end of the seventh book. Harry's out on bail for visit tax evasion due to hiring Percy as his accountant. Alternatively Harry is flat broke at the end of book 7 and lives a life of complete poverty. You see the wizarding bank was no longer willing to do business with the man who strolled in the 
front door and robbed the frick out of them. Since goblins can't use wands they also seized all funds from Harry's vault to pay wizards to repair the damages. But Beak was a metaphor. Half the fun would be reading the replies people come up with. Half the fun would be reading the replies people come up with. Elizabeth Warren's tax plan. He only ever attacks wealthy heir Draco. That the cauldron Voldemort was rebirthed in during Goblet of Fire used to belong to Horace Lughorn. It was gifted to his favorite student, Tom Riddle. The year Riddle left Hogwarts. That's a perfectly reasonable piece of info, though. Everyone else in here talking about literal feces in Voldemort's foreskin. And you come in with some genuine canon. Well done. After Book 2 and the Polyjuice experiments Ron and Hermione permanently switched places. Blimey, Hermione. After Book 2, Ron and Hermione used each other's DNA to turn into each other and then have freaky body swap sex. After Book 2, Hermione realizes she loves Harry and convinces Ginny to permanently switch with Ron's body. So Harry and Hermione end up together. And Ron and Ginny do as well. But in other bodies so it's okay. Roll Tide. I double down and declare that some of the older teachers at Hogwarts would forget they were supposed to use toilets now. So occasionally they just drop through a urinate in front of everyone. McGonagall began wearing diapers as a temporary measure. As she believed toilets were just a fad and would soon quickly fall out of favor for the previous vanishing techniques. McGonagall began wearing diapers as a temporary measure, as she believed toilets were just a fad and would soon quickly fall out of favor for the previous vanishing techniques. A wand inserted deftly into the urethra takes care of all the mess without making a scene.